In this video, we're going to take a look at how to install Import Excel. We'll take a look at the PowerShell Gallery. We'll find the module with Find Module. Then we'll install it. Then we'll use Get Module in PowerShell to see where the, mod the module is and where it's installed. And then we'll use Get Command to see what we can do. Okay, this is the PowerShell Gallery. It's maintained by Microsoft. And all the modules are up there, including ones installed and published by Microsoft and by other folks. For example, now I can search for Excel. And here's the import Excel module. And you can see a whole bunch of different things here. You can see how to use the save module or install module commands in PowerShell. If you scroll down, you can see the different versions that have been published over time. And if you'd like, you can drill into any one that you want to look at. Also, you can click on things like project site. And that will take you to, in this case, the GitHub page, the repo page where I have all the source code with how uh, Import Excel works. Here as well, you can take a look at the README and see what's new and what's been added over time. Next, let's take a look at how we use commandlets inside of PowerShell to install Import Excel. Okay, back at the PowerShell console, we can do things like find module import Excel. Casing is not important. This will now go out and query the PowerShell gallery to find if it can find the import Excel module, which it does, and it tells us where it is, gives us the description, and what version. You can also use the all versions switch to find the different versions of the module. This is useful if, in case you want to go back to an older version you can look at the required version and you can give it a number and it'll pull in only that one. So let's do the find again. And now we know what, uh, which one we want. We get the latest version. We can do an install. Given the way PowerShell works, it'll find it pipe that information to the install module, and then install module tells us that it's an untrusted repository. You have to remember that the PowerShell gallery is an uncurated gallery, so people can publish to it, and they can publish harmful scripts, so know what you're downloading. That's why this prompts and says it's untrusted, and I'll say yes to please install this. It pulls down the NuGet package, unzips it, does a bunch of other things and puts it into the proper directories. So now, if I want to find out more information about import Excel, I can use the get module commandlet, list available import Excel, and if I pipe that to format list, I can see where it's installed and other aspects about it. One last piece, I can now use get command use the module parameter, import Excel, and I can see the different functions I can call and that are contained in that module itself. So next up in the next video, we'll take a look at kicking tires and taking this out for a spin.